Alrighty folks and welcome back to another Ugly Dog Paint. On today's paint, we're going to be doing a Tennessee Shad Ugly Dog style. So uh, let's just jump in here and get at it. Uh, the first color we're going to start with is a yellow light. And we're going to paint the back and down the sides with the yellow light. Oh boy, here we go folks. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Charlie. And uh, me and my wife, Melissa, my beautiful, beautiful wife that I love more than anything. Okay, what do you want? Nothing. <laughs> so, uh, this is kind of what we do. Uh, we both have full-time jobs but we like to come out here and we like to paint baits and and we ship baits all over the world anymore so just everywhere uh, this is kind of what we do uh, remember to hit that thumbs up and like and subscribe and share my channel and uh, you'll see some really unique stuff coming out of my shop that probably nobody else is doing so let's just start, and today we're going to paint a 2.5 square bill in this Tennessee shad pattern. So let's just start and start laying it on. That's about as far as I want to come down that side. Right there, that's about it. So there's our first coat okay, put on. Go ahead and paint that one. Okay, well, I have, I'm going to paint a 1.52, folks, so uh, I might as well just do both of them at the same time for this video. Yeah. So, there's our yellow on that bait. So, you'll see something today that you probably haven't seen on my channel, and uh, my... Wife bought me some loops, so scale patterns. You don't see me doing this that often, but we're gonna do it today for y'all. It's gonna be awesome, cool, all them fun things. So uh, I'm gonna let these dry, or I'm gonna heat set them right quick, folks, and uh, we'll jump back in here and and get our next coats put on. Let me get me a couple more drops here, folks. About all we're gonna need, so I just want to darken this just a hair on this bait. It's gonna be covered most of it anyway, so I as well run out what little bit of paint we got left on it, huh? You see that, folks? I always remember spray the nose, so if you don't, my wife will get on to you. Right, because I mean that way. She is. Just going to let those dry up a minute and I'll clean my brush and then we'll be back and we'll start with our next color. Which is actually going to be bronze copper. And this is where we're going to lay our scales on and then we'll paint the back. So, fairly simple paint. Uh... I'd like to see uh, everybody paint jobs if you're painting lures. And uh, don't ever let anybody tell you your baits are bad. It's all about art and creation, folks. I've had some of my really good friends been telling me that people's not liking the way they're painting their baits. And, you know, they're, they're not baits that they're selling. They're baits that they're creating for themselves. It's, it's like I said, it don't matter. People get mad, they, they can criticize all they want until they get out here and do it themselves. Doesn't matter if they're selling them or not. I mean, no, if it's, you don't like it, don't buy it. It's creation. <laughs> if you, you don't know. like it, don't paint it. It's just about creating. I love to create. My wife will tell you that. I've always created a whole lot of chaos for her and her life. <laughs> So, let's mix up our uh, antique bronze. And 
and you know they might be interested to know that you painted for a long time before we started putting up videos oh lord yeah i did a couple of years before i ever started doing videos yeah uh i was sitting on the couch over there at my friend chris's house one day and uh i was tired of being on the couch i mean that's all that in the bucket people would want to do uh was just sitting around watch TV and I said yeah I ain't doing this no more so I started painting I had a different company name back then uh, was one of my friends and it went south so ugly dog came about and uh, we've never looked back no we've been having a blast oh this. my god and we love you fans so much, all you people, all the encouragement y'all give us, it just absolutely makes our day. So. It's not really fans, they're more of a more, community. Yeah, a fishing community. Not really fans, I didn't mean to say fans. A fishing community. Uh, my platform is on YouTube and it's also moved to another site now. Odyssey called odyssey uh we're on instagram and facebook you got four different choices there to leave me comment or say hey you need to stop old man <laughs> but we're fixing to start venturing off into a whole new thing soft plastics they're coming so, so, so on this, folks, we're gonna uh, get our embroidery ring. I think that's what that thing's called. I'm not a much of a sewing guy. I think it's a loop. Embroidery loop, whatever it's called. We're gonna pull our bait off our stand, move our stand to the side. And we're gonna lay our bait up here. Just like that right there. I don't know. I can't turn my arm enough you had for y'all right. to see me. Just like this right here. And we're going to press it against the mesh. And then we're just going to... I don't want scales all the way down. I need to turn that pressure down just a little bit there. There we go. And I'm just going to start kind of laying in a little bit of a scale pattern on this bait. See my scale pattern? Folks, now we're just going to set this over here to dry because it's going to get more coats. This side needs to dry really good. And I'll move on to this one and do it right quick. And then we'll heat set both of those and uh, flip them around and do the other side. Okay, now we got our scale patterns on. We're going to set this off to the side. And uh, we're going to mix greens. We're going to be mixing a pearl lime with a deco art metallic green. Uh, the green that I want is between these two greens, so it's time to play. So, so I used five drops of pearl lime and three drops of the metallic green. To, to get the color that I'm looking for. It really came out the first time? <clears throat> oh, wow. Who's your mama now, girl? Mm, whatever. Yeah. That's gorgeous. I only like that. Now, I'm going to start down in here with the green. That is green. And I'm just going to kind of fade that green into that side a little bit. Our apple red and we need very very little of that just a 
few drops in there a little bit of thinner give her a good stir okay look at there got her all cleaned up and ready to go to the next uh, step that's going to be our red apple red that's probably more than I need by far to the shad dots everybody does shad dots different so that's probably what I'm gonna do I don't want that color I want black and that just a hair use a q-tip we're going to come back about three quarters of an inch and go up about a quarter of an inch I'll just lash that dot in there so. there's our shad dots okay folks we're back we're going to select some eyes and put on these baits so i think we're going to use gold eyes on these baits so let me find my gold oh yeah i'm going to use this one right there so, gonna be perfect razor blade and start popping them on I'm going to be honest with you folks I'm not really a huge shad dot guy but you know I'll put them on there a lot of people we like shad dots so I'm really old school and I've caught as many fish without them as I've ever caught with anything like that so I'll put them on there I don't care whatever makes the public happy okay man somebody did a good job taping those bills up okay so we're going to use two and two on our epoxy and that'll do both of these lures. Get a little bit of buttercup in there. Don't need a whole lot folks, just a little. Mix it up good. ready to go kind of a little bit of a mess here okay off we go 1.5 be the first one that's done very long for the spring bite folks I'm kind of getting excited about that myself
There you go, boss lady. Hello. Very pretty. You did a nice job on that, Melissa. I told you you need to glitter. Yeah, glitter's not necessary on every bait. How else are we going to get rid of it? Uh, we'll have us a glitter party. You want to have a glitter party? Okay, I'm just asking. What do you think there, babe? Like. Okay. So well, that's that. So remember to like, subscribe, and share to my channel. Hit that notification bell and that thumbs up, and please comment. <clears throat> Let me know what you think. I'm always trying to find new and innovative baits to paint. So. Uh, you folks have a very blessed day, and the ugly dog people will catch you later.